Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our tutorials. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can effectively use auto keying for your animation in Blender 2.80. So let's get started. <laughs> I have a simple scene set up here. I have a cube, I have a light source, and I have a camera. So I'm going to demonstrate how effective using the auto cane can be in Blender 2.80. So first, I want to select my cube and click on this uh, period icon. This is how to activate your auto cane in Blender. So once I click on that, the auto key is active. And the next thing I want to do is play my scene to show you how powerful this uh, option can be. So playing this and moving my cube around, and then stop. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of the frame and play this. Now you can see that my cube has animation already so that means while the auto key is active and the timeline is also running every movement on this object was recorded along the timeline for each of the frames so this is why i have the animation on the cube that's one way to use your auto key so this is boring delete reset back to the position now another thing i want you to notice is this let's say i i want this cube to be at this angle and i also want to create a few for my camera shots this camera shots and oh what just happened you can see there's a keyframe here even though I my intention wasn't to have keyframes on my camera but yet I have keyframes on my camera because of the auto keyframe that's one thing I want you to observe and to demonstrate this again I'm gonna click on my light source and you can see there are no keyframes yet on the light source but see what happens if i change the light source somewhere else i suddenly have a keyframe here but this is not what i wanted and the reason why this is happening is because i have my auto key option enabled so in blender you have settings to make sure you effectively utilize this function because Auto King can also be a lifesaver, it's not always bad, but it is only good when you do it the right way. And to do it the right way, come to the file, come to Edit, Preferences, and under the Animation tab, you go to Auto King and check this option, only insert available. So I'm going to save the preference and delete. Now, this time, if I want the keyframe to be on my cube alone. I can set a keyframe on my cube alone. Right? And frame 90, I want the keyframe to be here. Okay, so I have that from 0 and 90. So at any point in time, I can decide to change this object. I want to change the position. You can see. There's no keyframe here because I did not set a keyframe there. And the same applies with the camera too, no keyframe. But then if I want a keyframe on the camera, I can easily set my key, 
right? And when next I move the camera, I'll definitely have an automatic keyframe for it. So this is how to utilize your auto key in Blender 2.80. Remember, if your settings is not well done, anytime you move your object, you have keyframes for every object that's been moved. And this can be so daunting when you're working on a particular complex scene and by mistake an object was moved without your knowledge or something that could mess up your whole animation so it's very important for you to check out your settings properly and make sure your scene is well laid out for your purpose so this is where i'm going to call this a wrap i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel if you've not done so and hit the notification button to always get notified every time we upload new videos on this platform and until next time keep your creativity blending